let me go ahead and show you how to import movies and other elements into After Effects. There are a lot of different ways to achieve this goal. Now, the first thing, of course, you can do is go to the File menu and choose to Import. And you can import new things such as files, multiple files, which allows you to pretty much skip all over your hard drive to different folders. Pick something out of that one, pick something out of another folder on a different disk, and the dialog box will continue to pop open, allowing you to import more items. You can also import recent footage. So as you can see here, these are some of the things that I've worked with last. And I can just jump back and pull those elements back into After Effects without having to find them again. The only thing is, if I move the folder where this file is, After Effects won't be able to find it. So I'll have to find it again to make that connection. So I'm going to go to Import File. And I'm going to go to my desktop. And as you see here, I have a folder called Movies. And I have a different trailers in here. So I have uh, Black Zero Trailer, .mpeg, Kit Camo Trailer, and a Logo Reel. And that's one way I can bring things in. But before I import, let me show you another way. I can also come over here into my project panel and right click and choose to import. And as you can see here, I have those same options. I can import a new thing or import recent things. And let me show you another way. I can double click right here and the import file dialog box will appear as well. So as you can see, there's a lot of methods available. So you can choose the one that you're most comfortable with and the one that will make your uh, workflow more efficient. So typically, I just double click. So I'm going to go to my desktop. I'll click on the movies folder and I'll just click on this one first and bring it in. Click open at the bottom. So here's the movie. I can see the preview icon and I can see the details about this particular file. I can see that it's 320 by 240 as far as the scale. It is 41 seconds and 13 frames long at 29.97 frames per second. It's millions of colors. It's an MPEG file. And the audio is 41 kilohertz. And this is the audio icon down here, this little waveform. So that's one method that we can use to bring in footage. You can always change your mind by pressing Command or Control Z to undo that import. So I'm going to double click again and show you that if I hold down the Shift key, I can select more than one object inside of a folder. So I'll click Open, and now all of those guys are here. And now I can work with them in the same way. Click on it one time and read the information about that particular file. So that is how you can import movies into Adobe After Effects.